This video is going to be about different forms of energy. So the four big forms of energy that you need to know are kinetic, thermal, potential, and chemical. So let's start with kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is just going to be energy associated with movement. So anything that's moving is going to have kinetic energy. So now moving on to thermal energy. So thermal energy is also heat. So thermal energy is going to be the kinetic energy of the molecules moving around in a substance. So when we heat something up, the molecules inside that substance start to move faster, so they have more kinetic energy, and so the substance gets hotter, and we say that that uh, substance has more thermal energy or it has more heat. So moving on to potential energy, so potential energy is going to be the energy that's associated with location or structure of something. So, um, for example, if we have a rock and we put it on top of a hill, um, it's going to have more potential energy than it would if we put it um, just on the ground at the bottom of the hill because of its location. Um, and so the same thing goes with structure. So some structures uh, of compounds are going to have more potential energy stored in them than other structures. So lastly, we're going to look at chemical energy. So chemical energy is um, the potential energy that is available for release in a chemical reaction. And so chemical energy is going to be stored in chemical bonds within a compound. And then as those bonds are created and destroyed, it's going to release or absorb energy. Um, but chemical energy is really concerned with the energy that we can release from a chemical reaction. So really quickly to sum things up, kinetic energy is energy that we associate with movement. Thermal energy is going to be energy from the kinetic um, energy of moving molecules within a substance. Potential energy is the energy that an item has because of its location or a structure. And then chemical energy is the energy available for release by a chemical reaction from the bonds within that chemical compound. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.